Hi folks, so I want to demonstrate a couple of techniques using a new website slash app that uh, is going to serve as a really nice uh, substitute for us for Photoshop. Um, so this uh, website is called, uh, there we go, sorry, uh, it is called Photopia, P H O T O. P A, excuse me, P H O T O P E A, Photopia, like Utopia, but with photo instead of Utopia. It's Photopia. Um, and this is an awesome, it's really an app, but it, it works through your web browser. So it's going to work just like when we use Pixlr, it'll work the same as that, except this one is a little bit closer to Photoshop. So we're going to give it a try. Um, going to show you a couple of things that you can do. So, um, here is a photo that I started with in Photopia, and I wanted to change a couple of things. So I uh, changed the color of his shirt from blue to red so that he stands out a little bit better. And then I worked on uh, lightening some areas that were a little bit dark and bringing some detail back into some of the highlight areas that were lost. Uh, so this is all using functions that are really similar to Photoshop. and. Uh, I'll show you a couple of other examples. So here is a photo uh, that I took in Colorado. It's uh, it's a lovely place, but the photo is not that nice. Okay, you'll notice it's it's really low contrast. It's really gray looking. Uh, the colors don't really pop that well, and it's kind of dull. So uh, a few adjustments uh, using adjustment layers, which I'm going to show you here in a moment, takes this photo from you know, dull and boring and not terribly exciting to much richer uh, and really much more accurate to what it actually looked like to be there in that place. Okay, so here's what the camera captured. Again, uh, notice it's really dark and dreary here in the front. Um, the sky is not too vibrant. It looks sort of on the flat side. Once I add those adjustments, you'll notice a lot more contrast in the foreground area switch to that a lot more contrast down here in the front um, nice subtle gradient to the nice lighter tones in the background and a nice deep rich sky in the top uh, again before and after um, all of these techniques are using these guys over here which are called adjustment layers um, and adjustment layers allow us to do localized specific editing of colors so taking colors in one area and changing them so if i want to change the gentleman's shirt here uh, from this red color or orange whatever which is very close to the bricks um, let's say you want to adjust that so that he stands out from the bricks more also kind of pulls through this color of green that's over here on the right side other things I can remove colors in certain areas and leave them in specific areas as well. So in this case, I've taken the color out of the background, but left it just on the uh, man here. Um, I could also adjust things like, let's say, the color of the sky. If I wanted to change this into a, instead of a midday, sort of like a uh, sunrise or a sunset, easy peasy. Um, and then plenty of other adjustments that I can make. So I'm going to show you the basic process, how you would do this. Um, I'm going to start with a really simple image, which is a tree in a landscape. Um, I chose this specifically because it's going to allow me to pick certain areas that I want to adjust the colors in only those areas. Okay. So all of my adjustments in Photopia are right down here. Um, you're going to see this menu pop up here. Uh, this is because I have an ad blocker turned on on my browser, so you're not seeing advertisements over here. On your um, Chromebooks, you likely will see advertisements over here. Just ignore them um, and uh, you know, keep your eyes on the, the, the tools and your own pictures. So here at the bottom of my layers, right down here, you see this icon that has uh, it's a circle with kind of like a half black, half white circle. Um, when I click on that, it's going to show me all my potential adjustment layers. So these are all adjustment layers. They are for adjusting things like light and dark up here. Ignore that. 
um, or adjusting colors, things that are down here. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off here with the, uh, the hue saturation adjustment. Um, and here's what it does. I'm going to first just turn the saturation up a little bit. Well, just to explain what that does. So saturation, think of it as like the intensity of the colors, how strong or subtle the colors are. So you turn up the saturation, the colors become really bold to the point of looking really artificial and fake. Um, or if you turn the saturation down, uh, it, if you go all the way down, it'll make your picture black and white. If you turn it somewhere in the middle, it'll give you kind of a faded out, uh, kind of an old fashioned sort of look. Um, in, in this case, I'm going to turn up the saturation just a little bit so you can really see the effects of what I'm doing with the hue slider here. So this is the hue. Hue kind of changes the overall colors within the picture. So it will take the sky, for example, and make it turn from blue to green to yellow to red to whatever. Um, now, here is the deal. You'll notice as I change this, it's changing all the colors. It's changing the entire picture. Uh, so like what if, for example, I want to change just the tree. I want the tree to turn to like a fall colors. So I want this to look like it's autumn, but it totally messed up my sky and totally messed up the ground as well. So what do I do? I, I want my effect to only show up in one area. I don't want it to show up in other areas. Uh, the way that you control that is right over here. So on the layer, You'll notice here it says hue, because this is a hue saturation layer. And on the right side is this empty box. This is a layer mask. Um, we've used layer masks before in Photoshop. You may or may not remember, but the basic idea is this. This mask currently is completely white, which means that the adjustment that I made is affecting the entire picture. Okay. Um, but it doesn't have to be white. If I were to take my brush and swap so that I'm now using black, uh, the color up here on the top is the one that you're going to be actively using. It's a little bit confusing, but the top color is the one that I'm coloring with. Um, so if I take my brush tool and I use black as my color and then I paint with it, you'll see what happens. Um, so I basically just painted a stripe right down the middle not quite the middle, but uh, in the center area, I painted a black stripe, but it doesn't look black on the picture. How come? Uh, the reason why, if you look over here, you can see this is my mask. So areas that I painted black show up black on the mask. And what that means is that area that I painted is not being affected by this hue saturation adjustment. So in other words, the rest of the picture is being affected. This area is not, OK? Um, if I click on right here where it says Hue, uh, double click, actually, uh, it pulls up my adjustment so I can continue to make changes. But you'll notice it is not affecting this area in the center because I've painted that area black, OK? So what does this mean for us? Let me just delete this layer, and I'll just start again. Um, so if I click my adjustment layer down here at the bottom and I choose hue saturation okay I'm going to adjust the hue slider until I get the tree that box is really annoying I'm sorry uh, until I get the tree where I like how it looks so I'm looking for kind of a yellowy orangey I'm gonna turn up the saturation a bit like so uh, and then I'm gonna adjust the hue until I get a nice kind of warm yellow color on my trees. Okay, uh, I'm then going to take my brush. Okay, I'm currently using black and I'm going to paint. Excuse me, I have to make so I just tried to start painting. Try that again. Cancel. Uh, so I tried to start painting there and it says layer is not editable. Layer is not editable. Uh, and the reason why is because I had this selected where it says hue. You need to make sure that you have the mask. So there's two parts on the layer. There's the act, there's the adjustment, which is what allows you to change this, uh, and then there's the mask, which is this thing right here. And what I'm looking for is I want to be on the mask using my brush. So now anything that I paint with this brush, make this a little more 
extreme so you can really see it. Okay, so anything that I paint now with my brush goes back to the way that it started. So in other words, the areas that are painted black now, and you can see right here on my mask, I painted black all around the tree. Haven't done a really good job of it, but you get the idea. Um, everything that I'm painting black is not being affected by that adjustment. Okay, I'm going to touch this up a little bit, make my brush a little bit smaller, and use some white to make sure. Whoops. Let's try that again, shall we? Um, so I'm painting black around the leaves, leaving white on the actual leaf area itself. Uh, now, this is not quite as quick, not quite as efficient as it would be in Photoshop, um, but it gets the job done. Okay, so, uh, so here's my adjustment. If I turn it off, you'll see the original color of the tree, which is green. Uh, when I turn it back on, you see the adjustment. Um, I can still change this. If I decide I want a completely different color, I can pick, you know, any color I want. I can make that tree be purple or, you know, yellow or green, whatever. Um, I can also tweak a little bit this lightness, but it's not honestly a really effective adjustment. I would I would try to leave lightness sort of where it is uh, and just play with the hue and the saturation to get the effect that you want. Okay, so that is exactly how I did uh, all of the adjustments to this picture. Okay, so I have a variety of layers here, but each layer is adjusting a different part of the picture. So for example, I wanted the sky to be darker. So this layer right here is darkening the sky. Okay. Uh, this layer right here is lightening up the bottom. Same with this one, lightening up the very area, the area in the very far front. This area is increasing the contrast in that same area again. Uh, and then this one is just turning up the colors a little bit.